All right, let's get this started. It's Nikki from Stell Shampoo, and we are here today to open an entire booster case of Rebel Clash Pokemon product. 36 packs in a box. I got six boxes. I also got these build and battle kits, which I'm not going to open right now. Uh, we're going to start cracking these open. I'm going to get right into it because this is a lot of packs. Whatever, whatever 36 times 6 is, that is the number of packs that I have, and that is the number of packs that I will open. Uh, this first box is for myself. I'm actually going to keep this box personally. I'll crack these bad boys out. We got a lot of very powerful cards that I'm looking for. I have no Rebel Clash cards yet. Obviously, I haven't been going any pre-releases with the Rebel Clash set because we are all locked up. So this is the first set of packs that I have gotten my hands on. I'm going to share that with you boys here. We're looking for a couple particular cards. I'm going to do this fast. Uh, I'm not going to like come here and sweat over every single card because I'm sure you Pokemon enthusiasts already know what they are. But I'm going to do my best to explain some of the uh, the cooler cards that I get. We got a white code to start things off. And let's check it out. Dreepy, Snover, Bin Binnacle, uh, Galarian Drumaka. Yo, that Vulpix art's kind of... That is adorable. I like that. Olena is our first, and we already got a hit in the first pack. It is Toxtricity V Max. This is a very playable card. G Max Riot for 160. If your opponent's active Pokemon is poisoned, uh, the attack does is 80 more damage. 80 more damage for a total of 240. That's enough to knock out pretty much any V Pokemon and get close to knocking out a lot of tag teams. Uh, that is sick. That is first pull of the day. Very playable card. Leaf Energy, Lombre with top entry, Galar Mine, and Durant for the first stack of cards. Literally already a hit in that Toxicity VMAX. I'm going to I'm going to be opening the build and battle boxes later. I'm, I'm definitely going to keep some of those for myself. Toxicity VMAX also, there's a lot of different ways to keep Poison active. We got a green code here in the game. Uh, hopefully we'll come across that card a little bit later. Roly Coley, Applin. Katarina, Magikarp, Metatite, Tranquil, Alcremi, which is a Psychic type now because they remove fairies, Lightning Energy, Phalanx, Palpitote, and a Capture Energy. I'm actually excited about that. Capture Energy, uh, as long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it's a colorless energy, and I think you can search for is it any Pokemon. When you attach this card from your hand to a Pokemon, search your deck for a basic and put it on your bed. So this is a basic, it's not any Pokemon. Adding a little bit of consistency boost to decks that don't need an insane amount of uh, different colored energy. You might see that in decks that play, for example, uh, Orangaroo from Ultra Prism and uh, other stall decks. It might be popular to get things up and running. I'm going to take the energy out, so I don't have to sort through all that later. I got I to stay organized with my piles because this is going to get out of control real quickly. Code card, code card. All right, I'm going to keep everything that is not a boss's orders in that stack. All right, got another white coat, boys. Litwick, Lotad, Clefairy, Voltorb, Growlithe, Luxray. This is a promo, actually, that comes in the build and battle boxes. Raid lets you do if it evolves. It's 60 plus 100 more damage if it evolved uh, on the last turn. And that's that's in this box right here. Ooh, this Dragapult's actually really cool. It's kind of like the Whimsicott from, I believe it's Unbroken Bonds. You got to flip a coin to do damage to it. This might see some loose play. Uh... So I'm excited to have a copy of that. Fighting Energy. Skyla got reprinted. I wasn't a player back when Skyla was a thing. But Skyla lets you search your deck for a trainer card, reveal it, put it into your hand, shuffle your deck. Uh, it's kind of like a weaker greens exploration, I guess. And But it's any trainer card. It can be a stadium, a supporter, whatever. Electrode and a Zatu. I just revealed that code. So if anyone wants this code, you guys can grab that. All right, that's enough time to do that. So far, Toxicity VMAX, two white codes. It's not bad. Got myself a baby Dragapult. I'm excited about that. Galarian Meowth is going to be our first card. Spoiler alert. Galarian Meowth allows you to... I think it adds some viability to Galarian Berserker. Discard two cards from your hand to use this ability. Once during your turn, you may search for Galarian Berserker. Reveal it. Put it into your hand. Uh, I think Galarian Berserker got a little more play in Steel-type decks thanks to this Galarian Meowth. So this this might see some loose play in America. I'm not sure, though. It's not like I have gone to an event in a while. Galarian Meowth, Caterpie, Galarian 
Corsola. This this thing is uh that is that is a product of global warming if I've ever seen one. Litwick Shinx, a reverse hollow Vulpex with the adorable art. Ludicolo. Uh, this is a kind of interesting card that I've looked at. Does 60 damage for each prize card you have taken, which means it can do a total of five prize cards, do some basic math here, 300 damage at the end game if you manage to get your uh, self down to five prize. So it might be a good game ender, and it, it is two colorless, um, but it is a stage two, so that's going to be a, a little hard to play, I think. Fire Energy, the Lombre to go with it with Top Entry. Uh, top Entry is a cool new ability. Once during your turn, if you drew this Pokemon from your deck at the beginning of your turn, and your bench isn't full, before you put it in your hand, you may put it on your bench. And for those of you who play in real life, you have to be careful. Uh, once the card touches your hand, then it's in your hand, and therefore you can't top entry anymore. So you have to be very careful and show your opponent that it did come off the top of your deck. Uh, Hatterim there, and Cursed Shovel. Cursed Shovel is an interesting mill card, but mill already... mill lists are pretty tight. Uh, if your Pokemon is knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack, discard the top two cards of your opponent's deck, and of course you can Orangaroo this back in, or you can use Lana's Fishing Rod to pick this back up. Mill a little faster. It is a tool, so you don't have to play a Belelba to get that in play. Not sure if we'll be seeing that used too heavily, though, in a Mill-type decks. All right, pack number five, boys. We have a white code. I'm feeling good. Are we going to need another hit? On pack number five, let's check it here. Nose Pass is the first card. Wingle, Coughing, Bronzor, Toxel, Mask, Colossal. This is uh, one of the promos in the Build and Battle box, and this might see some use. Tar Generator lets you attach a Fire and a Fighting and attach them to uh, from your discard to your bench Pokemon in any way you like. So uh, some of those Fire Fighting dual type decks, if anyone comes up with anything like that. Uh, might see some good energy acceleration from Colossal, Psychic Energy, Heliolisk, Burning Scarf, which if I see the Arcanine that this goes to, we'll, we'll talk a little bit about that, and Indeedee. Not much in that one. We're going to take that Psychic Energy out. I opened an ETB, and I got one of each energy twice. Sword and Shield ETBs, uh, which is insane. No duplicates. I got all eight different kinds of energy. Green Code. Let's see if there's anything interesting. Milsery is a new card. Galarian, Far Fetched, Nine Tails, Reverse Hollow, Electrovire, Steel, Full Heal, Training Court, Dew Blade. Uh, training Court's a little bit like Mount Coronet. Once during each player's turn, that player may put a basic energy from their discard into their hand. Might be a good, good way to keep your energy from getting uh, Articuno Cold Crush GX. But uh, I don't see myself, at least right now, off the top of my head, putting those in any of my current decks. All right, another white coat card. We got ourselves here a Snover Pidov, Dramaka, Hatterina, Scyther, Growlithe. Another hit, SQV. I'm not really super excited about this card in particular, um, but whenever you attach a water energy from your hand during your turn, heal 30 damage from it. Has 210 health, which is pretty average for a V. Uh, Blizzard does 120 for two water and a colorless uh, stack also does 10 damage each year. Opponent's bench Pokemon. 10 damage is spread around isn't a lot to work with, but it is every bench Pokemon. But then again, it is blocked by Mew. But then again, you can boss his orders Mew. So new sets just playing with the game's ecosystem uh, quite a bit. And I wonder if that SQ will see any play. Um, but that's not a card I'm particularly... I was looking for this right here is a card that I was looking for. Speed, Lightning, Energy. You're going to see these as a 3 of, 4 of in Picaram. This is a hot card. As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides lightning energy. Uh, when you attach this energy from your hand to a Pokemon, draw two cards. That's a two-card draw off of an energy. And, uh, and of course, we'll grant Picaram's and Rai Rai and Boltons lightning attack cost at the same time. Two cards for an energy attachment is sick. Much better than the draw energy we saw in a previous sword. Uh, or, excuse me. Cosmic Eclipse, I think it came out of Draw Energy, or Unified Mind, somewhere around there. And then we got Metapod. Uh, I'm very excited about that Speed Energy. I'm putting that in the pulls pile. I want to play set of those really badly. Because uh, you'll be seeing those... You'll be seeing those in Picarom. Alright, scooping up another green code. We got... 
Clefairy, Voltor, Growlithe, Dreepy, Snover, Clefairy, Reverse Hollow, Wound Pheasant, Darkness, Energy, Horror, Energy. Let's go! Two of the special energies right off the bat. Uh, it is a Psychic Energy, as long as it's attached to a Pokemon. If the Psychic Pokemon this card is attached to in the active spot is damaged by an opponent's attack, put two damage counters. Uh, this is going to be probably seen in Dragapult, which is one of the main cards that we want. Dex. I'm going to put that down as another pull. I'm very excited to have a force out of those. Um, you're going to want to spread damage, spell tags, horror energy, lots of cool ways to do that. Palpatode and Orgrim and that. Yo, I think I... Did I just get one of each energy? Well, I just noticed this. Yo, it happened again! Rigged! I I got one... Fa there's no fairy energy anymore. I think that's all of them. Obviously, there's no colorless energy. Yo, give me... A, I got a capture energy, too. I think I kept it in the, the bulk pile right there. Yo, I think I just got one of each energy without duplicates. I didn't get twin energy. If this pack has a twin energy... This will be the sickest box I've ever opened. Green code here. Time pull, Volibi, Galarian Corsola, Toxel, Mr. Mime, not Mr. Rhyme, Garbodor. I believe this is another promo in the build and battle boxes that you see right here at the top of your screen. Once you're going to turn, if a stadium card is in play, you may leave your opponent's active Pokemon poisoned. That goes very well with my man Toxicity V right there. Galarian Berserker, a grass energy. Okay. Orgrim, Metacham, and Pokeball got reprinted. Uh, Pokeball, a super OG Pokemon card, obviously. I didn't play back in those days. I was literally like four or something. All right. Let's see what we got. Another green. Stuffle. Coughing. Impidimp. Shinx. Sandy Gast. Cramorant. Reverse. Hollow. Another Garbodor. Nice. Um, that one is a not hollow whatsoever, but that's okay. I still like it. Metacham, Orgrim, and a Palpitoad. Only one Pokeball so far, though. We're still looking for boss's orders, whether it be full art. I'm looking for boss's orders. I'm looking for Eldegoss. Um, Eldegoss is going to be huge for Welder decks and, well, boss's orders decks. There's going to be every deck that's not a fire deck. Green code card there. Zatu, Barbroach, Scovit, uh, Apollon. Oh my god! A reverse speed energy. Let's go. A normal toxicity. I actually don't even remember what this thing does. Let's check it out. Poison Shout does 20 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. Hammer in does 90. Uh, and the first one is just for one lightning. It's stage one. Eh. I don't know if I'm super excited about that card. Twin energy! We got all of them! I got a full set! Twin energy and energy card that a lot of people were excited for, especially for... Uh, single prize decks. As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon that isn't AV or GX, it is a double colorless energy. I don't know much about Expanded, but I wonder how it's going to impact that. If it is attached to a V or GX, it just provides a normal colorless energy. Phalanx and Masquerade. We did it! We got one of each of the special energy of the set. Uh, and Capture Energy. I'm going to go find Capture Energy. It's in this pile of bulk somewhere. I gotta take it out. I gotta, I gotta put all the boys together. Where is my Capture Energy? I only got one Elena and one Galar Mine as well. So far. Oh no, is this a mistake? Am I just wasting time now? There's Skyla. Cursed Shovel. only got one Cursed Shovel. only got one Burning Scarf. Got one Full Heal. One Training Cart. Alright. It's there. I'm not insane. I didn't make that up. Uh, I got one of each of the special energy, which I am extremely happy about. Gonna want one more Speed Lightning energy. And I got my set. We got a White Code here. Oh, well, I just flipped that code over so you guys can have it. There you go. Volibi, Dreepy, Magmar, Galarian Yamask, Skurskit, Bronzong, and the hit of this pack is going to be a Rillaboom V. Uh, Forest Feast. This thing has some pretty funny attack names. Search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon, put them onto your bench for Forest Feast. Woodhammer does 220 and does 30 damage to itself. Not a terrible card. Lightning Energy, Heatmore, Zatu, and Tranquil. Are going to be the other cards from that pack. And two Garbodor. Alright. Next up, Green Code. We got ourselves a Magikarp, Metatite, Stunky, Grubbin, Wingull, Coughing, Diggersby, 
Fighting Energy, Chajara Bug, Shuckle, and Dan. This is a this is kind of a funny trainer card. It's the first time we've seen it. Draw two cards. Your opponent and you play rock, paper, scissors until someone wins. If you win, draw two cards. Uh, that's I don't know. I don't know if people are gonna play that with uh, with a format where there's Professor Research and Marnie, but it's there now if you wanna wanna draw four cards. If you wanna play Gengar Mimikyu, that's not rotating out. Get your opponent to draw cards. Right code. Let's go. All right. Our hits for this pile. Honage, Litwick, Corsola, Binnacle, Scyther, Phantump, Eskew. Normal Eskew. If this Pokemon is full HP, 60 less damage from your opponent's attacks. And the Blizzard does, once again, 10 damage. Uh, very much like the V version. Tool Scrapper. This is going to be a good staple. I'm actually going to keep this one out. Uh, choose two Pokemon tools attached to Pokemon, you, yours or your opponent's, and discard them. Air Balloon, your Reign of Terror is over. Um, I wonder if U-Turn Board is going to become sick. Another Dan and Karkul. U-Turn Board might become sick, because when U-Turn Board is discarded from play, uh, it goes back to your hand. So U-Turn Board might be, might be a little tastier. Air Balloon's Reign of Terror is over. Spell Tags, watch out. Tool Scrapper, a very good staple card from this set. In my opinion, one of the staple cards coming out of this set. Got a green code. Litwick, Shinx, Willy Coley, Applin, Hatterina, Palpitoad, Arcanine, Psychic, Masquerade, Dewblade, another Capture Energy. I know the other Capture Energy is in the bulk pile somewhere. So, we got one of each of the special energies. I'm actually really happy about that. I wonder if everyone else has been... Well, I'm going to find out because there's five boxes here and we're not even halfway done with the first one. All right, a green coat card. Squovit, Appalin, Time Pole, Trubbish, Helioptile, Nosepass, Cramorant, Steel. Another Galar Mine, Bronzong Metapod. I believe that's two Galar Mines for your boy Nikki. All right, second to last pack in the left stack. Trying to make sure I'm not littering on my floor here. Melsery, Glaring Farfetch, Meowth, Caterpie, Corsola, Hatterene, Berserker, Water. Electrode Tool Scrapper, Cursed Shovel. I'm going to keep the Tool Scrapper in my staples pile. My staples and cool cards pile. All right. Last of this half. We got a white code to end the stack. Stunky, Grubbin, Wingle, Natu. This pile just seems, it just seems a little heavier than the other ones. What do we got here? Flapple. This is another one of the promos. Once during your turn, you may put two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. If you did that, shuffle this Pokemon and all cards into your deck. Acid Spray, flip a coin. If heads, discard an energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. Another one of the build and battle promos, just in not promo form. Darkness, Chat Off. I actually don't know what this card does. Lucky March. When you play this Pokemon from your hand on your bench during this turn, you may flip a coin. If heads, put a supporter card from your discard into your hand. Dracloak, if I don't want to play Rare Candy, and Lampant is going to be the last card of this section. All right, guys, we're going to get started on the next half of the first booster box. We got our pulls laid out, got my playmat cleaned up a little bit, as I do not have infinite space. Green code. We're going to go a little faster here now. As Oh, another Garbodor. It's a three Garbodor there. Take that energy off. That Luxio also has top entry. Got a fighting energy out of that one. I want to see again if I get one of each basic energy. Is the Pokemon Company rigging my boxes? Check it out here. Ercuda, uh That is Galarian Meowth, not Galarian Berserker. Got my first copy of Turfield Stadium. Once during each player's turn, they may search their deck for an Evolution Grass Pokemon, reveal it, and put it in their hand. That is a really nice, consistent card. I'm actually going to take that out. That is a very, very good card for decks that are running lots of Grass Pokemon. You don't have to use Sunshine Grace anymore. Grass doesn't have too many stadiums. Of course, Life Forest is pretty dope. But I'm laying out here on the table all of the all of the staples, all the nice cards that I I will be playing. All right, got a white code card here. What do we got after the Metatite? I can feel it already. It's feeling heavy. It's a Cinderace V, Crimson Legs, and Field Wonder. If there's a stadium in play, it has no retreat cost. You think you can just attach an air balloon to this thing, but with Tool Scrapper in play, 
It's two retreat cost will probably still be two as people will be tool scrapping your air balloons. Cinderace V, that's an okay V card. It'll set it right next to my good pal Rillaboom. And we got ourselves a copy of Milo. Discard two cards from your hand. Draw two cards for each card you discarded in this way. Last card in that pile was a Shuckle Uncommon. All right, not bad. First pull there, Cinderace. Can we get Intellion? I think out of all of the... Despite the fact that in Sword and Shield I picked Grookey as my starter, I think Intellion shows the most promise, in my opinion, for the starters. Another Askew... Bereskuda is actually one of my favorite Pokemon in Sword and Shield to play with in VGC. Just because of the sheer speed and power of this thing. Spiral Jet does discard two energy cards from your hand. If you don't, this attack does nothing. For one energy, 130. That's kind of interesting. I don't know if it'll be played, but that's interesting. It's effectively a three energy cost, but you have to discard two from your hand, which is nicer than discarding two from the Pokemon, because that means you don't need energy acceleration. It's only a one water cost. So that's kind of cool. Um, that's that's an interesting card that I actually didn't look at before the set came out. Effectively, for three water energy, two of which you don't need to attach, you can do 130, but it is a stage one, so it's a little dicey, and 130 is not too relevant of a number to do anything, really. I don't even think it knocks out the baby Dragapult. It's another green code card. Grimmsnarl here. Grimmsnarl's Dark Oath. As long as Pokemon is in the active spot, your opponent's active Pokemon's attacks cost colorless more. Energy press for 100. This attack does 30 more damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. This one darkness to colorless. The Nine Tails again a water energy. Skyla reprint. Luxio and Dracoloak. And uh, that one right there. Alright. So far the one of each energy holds. I have not gotten a duplicate energy quite yet. Oh, we got ourselves a white code card here, boys. Let's see what we got. And Vulpix. Capacious Bucket. This is a staple water card. Reverse Hollow. Search your deck for up to two water energy cards. Reveal them. Put them in your hand. Shuffle your deck. Another staple from the set. Yo, spoiler alert. I, you see it. You see it. Speed Lightning Energy. Another Flapple from the Build and Battle Box. Darkness Energy. Metacham, beware. That's my that's my set of speed lightning energy. I don't know if I I don't know if there's room because in Picaram you need to accelerate basic lightning energy. Speed lightning gives you some beautiful consistency, um, but you still need a lot of basic lightning energy in there. So I feel like you maybe cut a lightning energy and then add three or four speed lightning. I, I'm gonna have to take a look at my Picaram and see how I want to cut. Um, but that's not an archetype that I actually have a lot of experience playing. That's not one of my mainly played archetypes. A uh, Sonya. This is the first Sonya I got. Reverse Hollow. So your deck for up to two basic Pokemon or two basic energy cards. Reveal them. Put them into your hand. Shuffle your deck. In a format with Magnolia, I don't see that getting too much use. But, dude, it's happening. Grass energy. One of each energy again. Look at this. These packs are rigged. I wonder if they like print sheets of energy, and when the sheets of energy are printed, they they print one of each color, and they just put the entire sheet when they cut it apart. Because Pokemon cards are printed out in sheets, and they cut them apart. That's why you can get miscuts. At least I think that's how it works. And maybe they just print out a whole sheet and then put one of each energy card in the pile. Because right now, I mean, I'm way too excited about these energy cards. I know no one cares. We got a white code here. What do we got? Sandaconda V Full Art Sand Eater. Attach a fighting energy from your discard pile of this Pokemon. Sand Breath it does 220 for two fighting, one colorless. Discard two energy from this Pokemon, which you cost of three. 220 health basic. And the I really like the coloring on this full art. The contrast, the green with the brown of the sand snake. You know, Sandaconda V. Sick pull. Very happy about that. And we got. A grass energy. Oh, I'm missing a lightning energy. Okay, so it didn't hold this time in my basic energies. Pasan Training Court, Lampant. But I did get a speed lightning energy, so kinda, I don't know, it kind of counts. All right, let's get these. Let's get these energies out of the way. You guys want to see the cool stuff? Get basic energy. You're gonna go in the basic energy pile over on the side here. All right, next up. We have not yet found the boss's orders full art. The probably the most expensive card in the set. Still looking for it. All right, coming out of this one. Nothing really. There's my lightning energy. Full heal, Sonia Masquerade. 
So far, no full art trainers yet, I believe. We did get a Toxicity via Max, though. Uh, so far, probably the most precious card I've gotten is Toxicity V Max. No, my, my three copies of Speed Lightning Energy were the best. This is another green bust. Another Lightning Energy. Or Pico. Another Capacious Bucket. A Water Staple. You're going to be wanting to play those in your water decks. Effectively getting water energy in your hand. Letting you accelerate with Frost Moth. It's all good. Another green code here. Nothing too exciting, probably. Oh, the Arcanine! Warming up, if this Pokemon has a Burning Scarf attached to it, it has 100 plus HP for a total of 230. And then Fire Main does 130 for two Fire and a Colorless. Another Pokeball. I think this is only the second Pokeball I got. And a Howlucha there at the end. So I got a couple more pulls in this stack. So far, I'm pretty happy with this box as we get another white code. What do we got here? Wingle. Galarian Meowth is the Reverse Hollow, and a Gyarados. 200 damage. Discard any stadium in play for two water, three colorless. It's got four retreat costs, so it can be buff padded. 180 health. That's a very interesting card. Single prize. I don't know if it'll see a lot of play, because it is a stage two. And a Nugget, my first Nugget. You play this card only if you drew it from the deck at the beginning of your turn uh, before you put it in your hand to draw three cards. Again, for those of you who play in real life, you'll have to be very careful and not let it touch the other cards in your hand when you draw it. If you're running Nugget, then be careful as you put cards into your hand. Look at them before you do, so that uh, the competitive integrity of the game is kept in place. Because uh, there are other ways you can draw cards, obviously, that, that wouldn't activate Nugget. White Code, Pidov, and a Copperaja V Max Rainbow! Yo, this is actually kind of a sick car that I'm excited for in Steel decks. I, I'm really excited for this one. Dangerous Nose for two Steel and a Colorless. Your opponent's active Pokemon is a basic. Uh, this attack does 100 more damage. Just 200 damage. Because, you know, let's be honest, everyone's running basics. I guess except against a Malamar, but a Malamar already only has 90 health. Uh, and then G Max Hammer for 240. That is enough to knock out any V, with the exception of, I guess, Zacian V with a uh, Frying Pan on it. G-Max Hammer, just 240 for 3 steel, 1 colors. Cool thing is also, if Fire ever gets pushed out of the meta, which, well, there's not getting rotated away, so let's be honest. But, for Retreat Cost, with Buff Padding, this thing can go up to 390 health. But with Metal Frying Pan, it's just less damage per hit. Uh, this is a dope card. It is, it's a rainbow. It's looking gorgeous. Look at the back of that card. That is that is the biggest card I've hit so far with a Psychic Energy, Terfield Stadium, Karkle, and Hatterene. We got a couple packs left here. We got ourselves five packs. So possibly another hit in there. That Copper Raja VMAX, though now the top card we've pulled so far. 340 health and it's a VMAX. This thing's eating goons. Green code. Sprint through this one, see if we can get one more hit. Age Slash. Diggersby, Dracoloak, and another copy of Sonya there at the end. Not bad so far. I'm going to be honest, I could be doing a little bit better with the organization of my playmat. Uh, it's not a strong point. I even tried to think about that and organize a little bit better beforehand, but apparently I am not as good at doing that as I thought I was. Capacious Bucket! That is three copies of Capacious Bucket. I don't know if I'd I don't know. I, I haven't taken a look at water decks. That's not a. It's not an archetype that I play all that much. But three copies of Capacious Bucket. A white code card. Let's go, boys. All right. One last hit. Dreepy. Grand Farfetched. Honage. Time Pole. Vullaby. Bronzong. Galarian Corsola. Perish Body. This Pokemon is in the active spot and is knocked out by damage from a Pokemon's attack. Uh, an opponent's attack. Flip a coin. If heads, the attacking Pokemon is knocked out. You can't use Will on that, I believe. Another Burning Scarf. This goes well with Arcanine. If the Fire Pokemon this card is attached to you and the active spot is damaged by an opponent's attack, even if it is knocked out, the attacking Pokemon is burned. Elena and a top entry. Luxio on that card will be easy to find in these build and battle boxes when I decide to open those. But I'm probably going to run out of finger strength by then. Alright. 
Leave a comment. Tell me what your favorite. I'm not. I'm not a real YouTuber. I'm not gonna do that. Leave a comment. Tell me what the best card in Rebel Clash is. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that to you. Chajara Bug, Seismitoad, Grass Energy, Alana Twin Energy. Let's go. And Helisk. All right, last pack. Let's go. Our Jesus guide me. It is an Inteleon pack, and it is Inteleon is the one starter that I have not gotten yet. All right. White code? Yes, a white code. I didn't know. That was just a straight guess. All right. Come on. One more pull. This is my personal box. Milsuri. Growlithe. Impidim. Funnelby. Phantom. Skirskit. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. It's heavy. It's a colorless. It is Dub Wool V. Soft Wool. This Pokemon does 30 less damage. Uh, takes 30 less damage. Does 30 less. That would suck. Takes 30 less damage from attacks for three colorless. So you can really splash this into a lot of decks. Revenge Blast, 120. Stack does 30 more damage for each prize card your opponent has taken. So if your opponent has taken five prize cards, five times 30, that is 150. 150 plus 120 is 270. Enough to knock out most tag team GXs with the exception of ADP, but they play Shrines of Punishment to hurt themselves. Um, I'm not sure if they'll be, still be playing Shrines of Punishment. I don't know how ADP is going to look in their next set. But Double V, interesting card. Might see some nice usage. Um, don't think it'll be fit in fire decks because fire decks already have a bunch of great attackers that can do tons of damage. But some other decks might see double V played. And that's our last pull. Lightning and DD to Jarbug, and the last card is going to be a Metapod. And that is it. That is the first booster box. I'm gonna show you guys the things that we got that I care about, with the exception of I lost a I lost a special energy somewhere in my box. See so anything here, nice and front and center. We're going to sleeve them up. Uh, Turfield Stadium, I think I got a couple more of that I, I didn't pull out. But we got three Speed Lightning Energy, which I'm very excited about. I can use one more. We got ourselves uh, probably the best card, Copperage of VMAX, Toxicity VMAX, three Speed Lightning Energy, three Capacious Bucket, two Twin Energy, one Capture Energy, Copperage of VMAX, so that's got to be the winner. So that is the first booster box with a total of, we're just counting Vs, I was at five, six, seven hits, and those speed energies are all hits in and of themselves. Uh, I am very excited to be playing that card. That is the first booster box. I am going to uh, go ahead and sleeve these up and put them in my binder, and then we're going to open some more packs. All right, guys, we're going to be opening up a sealed Rebel Clash booster box number two. This is number two out of the case, and I'm going to go much faster now now that we've uh, broken down some of the cards, told you guys. I really want to focus whenever I do Pokemon content on the competitive application of the game. And so I wanted to talk just a little bit about how some of the cards are going to be possibly seen in the competitive scene at your Cups and Challenges. This is going to be the first stack. And so I'll talk about those cards as they pop up, the ones we haven't seen yet. But and you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to flip the binder so that you guys can see the cool cards that I got out of my last box. Those are some of them there. We're going to keep this thing going as we're going to get to box number two. 36 packs in a box. And we got six boxes here. That's an entire case. Uh, that is a pretty penny worth of Pokemon cards. But we're going to speed things up here because I need to eventually go do other things. I can't have opening every box take four and a half years. But if we do get something cool, I will point it out to you guys as I struggle to open packs. It's not like I've ever done this before, even. And I'll try to be a little more organized with showing you guys what we pull out with a double V. Full art being the first hit of this box. Last box we did, the first box had a hit. And this time we have a hit right on the second pack, which I'm very excited about. And we're going to keep the cool cards front and center for you guys. I'm going to pull the rest of these packs out. Here we go. We're going to go with the left side first. Keep things nice and consistent. Double V going to be the first hit. Full art. I really love the contrast. Look at the yellow on that card. Contrasting with the white of the double V. This was another white code card. Whoa! All right. Let's go. A gold twin energy coming out of this third pack absolutely gorgeous wow gold cards look fantastic that is a huge hit in and of itself and a speed energy and a water energy yo most busted pack i've opened so far that is incredible 
coming out with a speed energy and a twin energy. Wow. That is only a few packs opened, and already three very valuable cards sitting on the table. As I, once again, I'm struggling to remove the wrapper. Alright, this is another green code. We got Growlithe, Obama Snow, Capacious Bucket, Horror Energy. Yo, this box is busted. This is already, I think it might, unless the rest of these packs are all duds, this might be the best box. That's already, that's a full art and a gold card. Looking a little closer, the centering on that Twin Energy is definitely not a PSA 10. Not that I'm a PSA expert or anything, but the centering on that Twin Energy is not good. When Pheasant is the reverse hollow slot. A Pokeball. Let's, uh, let me make sure also that you guys can see the cards as uh, the cutoff of the table. The table is bigger than what the camera can see. So I'm going to try to keep things a little bit more organized. Not like I have a producer. I usually would. But we are shelter in place. Bay Lynx V come out of that pack with a nugget. And a more Pico to end that pack. This is already, this, this is going to be the best booster box. That's it. We got a double V full art, speed energy, gold twin energy, horror energy, capacious bucket, and a Bay Lynx V already. I need to not rip these packs into like five different pieces. So they're not so hard to clean up afterwards. I got a big bucket off screen. I'm trying to like keep all the trash in. So I don't need to suffer after all of this. This lamp in also has top entry. Top entry, the set. I think that's three Pokemon that we found that have top entry in this set. Green code card here. Nothing too exciting. Maybe unless there's a speed energy. Arcanine, Sonya. Nothing too great there. All right, coming out of this next pack. We're about halfway done. I can't really tell by eyeballing it with the left side here as we, once again, score ourselves a white coat card. Voltorb starts off the pack. Volpix, the adorable art on that one. And Boss's Orders, let's go! Boss's Orders, holographic. This is the best box. This is the best box out of the case. I found it. There's no way any other box can beat this. This is... We're not even done with the first column. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a hollow Boss's Order. For those of you who don't know why we're so excited about this card in the competitive scene, switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. That's really cool because Gusting right now is... Uh, limited to only a couple ways. Of course, you have the Nine Tails. That's probably one of the most reliable ways, but only for fire decks that allow you to throw away two fire energy. And when you do that, you can gust up a Pokemon. Now, one of the reasons it's it's not incredible is because you do have to evolve from a Vulpix. You do have to throw away fire energy, but the main thing is Stealthy Hood stops you from um, doing that. So if, if there's a Pokemon that your opponent knows you want to gust, they'll stick a Stealthy Hood on it if they're prepared. And Stealthy Hood will make it so abilities like Ninetales' Gusting ability doesn't impact their Pokemon. Another hit, Chandelure. And a Toxicity V Max. Nice. Water Energy, Heracross, Capacious Bucket, Turfield Stadium. This is this is busted. It's absolutely busted. This is the best. This is the best box, I'm telling you, right now. But yeah, so one of, uh, one of the ways to gust right now in the format is boss's orders. Another way is custom catchers, but you have to have two of those in your hand. And if you're doing a lot of Professor Magnoling, discarding your deck, that is going to be very hard to do. Um, let's see what we got here with his white coat. Electabuzz. Grimmsnarl. Uh, so the other ways to gust in the format, great catcher, but that only works on GXs and requires discarding. And then Pokemon Catcher, which of course is on a coin flip. If you hit heads, you can gust. Boss's Order is a downside. It's your trainer for turn, but it's a very reliable way to gust. Can't be blocked by Stealthy Hood like Ninetales. You don't need two pieces like Custom Catcher. It's not a chance like Pokemon Catcher, and it works on things that are not GXs. Like... Um, 
Well, pretty much is very, very, very. There's very few ways to guess Zacian, which is one of the strongest cards in the format. You do it with Custom Catcher. You do it with Nine Tails. Oh, I should. You can. I just proved myself wrong. You can't do it with Great Catcher. That's the main thing. And Pokemon Catchers are on a coin flip. Um, custom Catchers are hard to use. They can. They can be icky, and they take up four deck slots usually. A Reverse Hollow Training Court. And so that's why we're so excited about Boss Orders. It's a consistent, despite the fact that it takes up your trainer for turn, it's a consistent method of gusting. It lets you pick any Pokemon. You can get around dolls that way. Another white coat. Let's you hit Zacians on the bench, because every deck in the Sword and Shield format is running Zacian from mill to ADP. Nine Tails V. Let's talk about a little bit about this card. I'm excited about it. And not much else in the pack. But let's talk about this Nine Tails V for a moment. This is going to be a fire card, 200 health, nine tailed shapeshifter for one fire, two colorless. Choose one of your opponent's active Pokemon's attacks and use it as this attack. That's kind of nuts. It says active Pokemon's attacks. So, of course, you can boss this order things up. But ADP, your altered creating with a fire deck? I mean, that's just nuts. Flamethrower, 180, discard energy from this Pokemon. That's not so cool of an attack. Um, but this is a very interesting card that is gorgeous, so gorgeous that I'm going to sleeve it right now. Even though Boss's Orders and the Gold Twin Energy are sitting there. Uh, I was very excited about this card. Um, it has... See, the thing is, Fire Decks already have so many great attackers and so many great ways to uh, utility. There's Gusting, there's a Turtonator from, I believe it's Dragon Majesty that can hit for some huge numbers and is a single prizer. There's so many different things in Fire Decks. So anytime you get a new Fire card, as cool as it is, it's hard to see. Uh, it's hard to predict whether or not we can make room in Fire Decks for it. Sigilyph is going to be our rare. Let's talk about Sigilyph a little bit. Counterattack. This Pokemon is in your active and damaged by your opponent's attack. Even if it is knocked out, put three damage counters in the attacking Pokemon. Psychic Assault for a Psychic and a Colorless. 30 plus. This attack does 10 more damage for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. Kind of like Mimikyu GX. Says the guy who used to play Guardian. Rest in peace. Mimikyu, it's more like Sableye. I know, I know. But don't forget about Mimikyu. Alright. Uh, what else we got here? So it's going to be hard to tell whether or not we'll be able to make room in fire decks for nine tails because there's so many great Pokemon in nine tails already in fire decks to see if we can fit nine tails. I should say, white coat Shinx Boltund V. I really want to talk about this card. This is I've recently played a little bit more Picarom. If you guys have been watching me on twitchtv shampoo, Boltund V might be a deck in and of itself with 200 HP, Electrify, search your deck for up to two Lightning Energy, attach them to your bench Pokemon in any way you like, then shuffle your deck. Bolt Storm for a Lightning and a Colorless does 10 plus. This attack does 30 more damage for each Lightning Energy attached to all of your Pokemon, kind of like Nuzzle. Two retreat cost, weak to fighting. This card is very, very playable. Um, you're going to see it in Peak Rom lists. You might even see straight Bolton decks. It is going to be another way to accelerate Lightning. Very, very... If you can't hit the turn one full blitz, you know, the Chaotic Swell goes down, the Wob Effect goes down. Both of those things have happened to me before. The Chaotic Swell, the Wob Effect goes down, you can't hit the turn one full blitz. No Tapu Koko V. No Thunder Mountain Bolton. Another way to do that. And um, getting one Lightning down, not hard. Not hard. Especially with Speed Lightning in the game. Like, oh, Bolton V is going to be so good. Another staple card of Lightning decks in the set. Speaking of Lightning... Bolt on. Here is your attach for turn. And that is going to be the first half of this booster box. Let's take a quick look. This is absolutely busted. This is the best. This might be one of the best boxes I've ever opened. If we just look at these cards sitting in front of us right here. Uh, this is Boss's Orders, Toxicity VMAX, Bolt on. All of those extremely playable lightning cards. Boss's Order is a one of in any deck. We have two speed lightnings. Gold Twin Energy, Double V Full Art. Nine tails. Like, this is this is gorgeous. This is a great start. I'm going to clean up the table a little bit. We'll continue on. All right. I got the table organized a little bit. We got another half of a Rebel Clash booster box open. This is box number two. Let's go. This is... I, I'm sorry I couldn't bring someone else over. It's shelter in place. I know this, this might be going a little slowly because I have one person cracking packs, but got to make sure that I don't get the Rona. Nothing too crazy. 
Oh, I thought those were two nine tails. Is back to back nugget water energy. First pack on the right side. We this so far like this is incredible. Like this is an incredible haul. We are streaming this live. This is going up on YouTube. We're streaming this live on twitch.tv slash shampoo if you guys want to see when I play Pokemon. Whiskash. Actually, I actually haven't seen this Whiskash yet. Submerge. As long as this Pokemon is on your bench, prevent all damage. Okay. Uh, Earthquake, 140. This attack does 20 for, uh, to each of your benched Pokemon. Interesting. And it is a fighting type. But yeah, for those of you watching on uh, YouTube... I'm on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Shampoo, where we're opening things live. Can someone in the Twitch chat go to TCG Player? How much is boss's orders going for? White code, let's go. Normal holographic boss's orders. I know the full art's going for like 50 bucks. Ooh, this, this, it feels heavy. Cursed Shovel, Cinderace V. And then a Grass Dan Twin, let's go. Three twin energy in this box. And another Dan. In a format with Magnolia, Marnie, Boss's Orders. I don't know if we'll be seeing Dan used as a card. Uh, but that would be hilarious. So we got really good at rock, paper, scissors. Started playing that card. Another green code, Glarian Dramaka. Glarian Duramitan as well. That's, a, that's nice of them to give me the evolution in the same pack. We got word from chat. Boss's orders is twelve to fifteen dollars. Full art, I believe, is fifty dollars. Twelve for a regular trainer card. It's because it's such a powerful staple, and because it's called Boss's Orders Giovanni, it should be playable for a long time in the future. And so, it being future proof, capture energy. The fact that it's future proof, the fact that it's going to be heavily played as a consistent gusting option, the fact that it'll be Eldegoss Veed, which we're still looking for Eldegoss and Dragapult, um, that's making it so expensive. For a $12 to $15 for a regular foil boss's orders. This left side's looking a little bit more of a bust. More Pico Whiskash. Tool Scrapper, let's go. A staple. All right, Energy, you're taking too much of center stage here. Let's uh, let's get things laid out a little neater. Yeah, it's it's going to be such a consistent gusting method. It's going to be, I mean, 10 years from now, if they reprint boss's orders, it'll once again be a playable card. White Coat, come on, another boss's orders. Glaring Berserker, Hatterene. Curse Shovel. Yeah, it's uh, there's no surprise it's going for 12 to 15, especially because this is before the set even releases. To get a play set of boss's orders. And you saw my first booster box, zero boss's orders. We're more than halfway through this booster box, one boss's orders. These are hard to get. Uh, it's kind of unfortunate. They're, they're a rare trainer, but they're really, really rare. And we really need them as players. Kaparaja V. Let's go. I got the Copperaja VMAX in the last booster box. Uh, Adrenamantine Press for 90 damage, 2 steal, 1 colorless during your opponent's next turn. This Pokemon it takes 30 less damage from attacks after applying weakness and resistance. Rack down for 180. 3 steal, 1 colorless, and a 4 retreat cost, which means it can be buff padding uh, if you're not afraid of fire, because Frying Pan's just really good also. 220 health. A very playable steel card, especially because steel, Galar Mine. Let's go. Because Steel has so much energy acceleration now with uh, with Metal Saucer, and then you're seeing so much play with energy switches now too, Copperaja might see uh, might be a real tanky and formidable opponent for those of you who don't like to play Steel decks like your boy Nikki. Water energy on that one. Tool Scrapper, let's go. Tool Scrapper, another card you're going to want to get a play set of. Air balloons, beware! I am, uh, I am taking you guys down. All the mill players playing air balloons. You turn board. I'm telling you, you turn board might become sick. You heard it here first. You turn board might become the new thing, especially for Pokemon with like a one retreat cost. Nothing. Zamazenta from the theme deck. We haven't seen this yet. Not a great card. Probably not going to see a lot of play with this. Power Rush 120, 
to steal one colorless flip a coin of tails during your next turn this Pokemon can't attack. That sucks. Guard press for 30, one steal, one colorless during your opponent's next turn. This Pokemon takes 20 less damage from attacks. 120. Um, it's an on hollow also. These come in the theme decks. Which is kind of why I wanted to point it out. Luxio with top entry, there was a water energy in there. For those of you keeping track. And uh, there you go. For uh, the first theme deck card, the first theme deck mascot. Pulled out. White code card, let's go. Boss's orders busted. Oh my god. Yeah. And drag what? This is I'm not playing it up. I'm not like trying to freak out for the sake of entertainment. I am actually legitimately psyched about and a top entry Lampert. Metacham, beware. This is the best pack. There's a darkness energy for those of you keeping track. This is the best pack you could possibly open. Two staples. Dragapult V going to become an incredibly powerful archetype with Bite for 30, one Psychic, Jet Assault. Well, I gotta show you Dragapult V. I gotta show you Dragapult V Max later on. Uh, Jet Assault for 60, two Psychic. If this Pokemon is moved from your bench to the active, it does 80 more damage for a total of 140 just for two Psychic. 210 health, which is pretty average for Vs. Um, and of course, Malamar is still in the format. It will be rotated out as Pokemon announced earlier today. But Dragapult V, Dragapult V Max is gonna be sick. And Boss's Orders, again, a $12 to $15 card. This was a reverse hollow. A reverse hollow Boss's Orders. This is the best pack that you can possibly open. I'm saying, I'm calling it now. I'm calling it right now. And it's got that adorable Vulpix. This is the best pack. And the Glorian Meowth, which can see play as well. These were seeing play in Japan. Uh, this, is, uh, this is the greatest pack right here. That was it. If I could open more of those, that would be absolutely sick. That pack alone, if we're just counting the boss's orders at $15, the Dragapult V, chat, someone bring that up for me. That's got to be at least like $10. That was like a $25 pack right there, I got to say. And for those of you who didn't hear, Pokemon announced earlier today that the rotation, as everyone predicted, is going to be Team Up and Up. So Team Up, Unbroken Bonds, Unified Minds, Cosmic Eclipse, Sword and Shield, Rebel Clash, Hidden Fates, Horror Energy, let's go, and Colossal from the... Rebel Clash, pre-release deck box. One of four. And a car coal to go with it. Nice. This would have been a great pack to get. Oh, and a Skyla. That Now this would have been the best pack to get during a pre-release. If you were playing pre-releases. Colossal, car coal, add you some consistency. You got a Skyla in there. Skyla wouldn't be such a bad card for pre-release format. Um, that would have been a great pre-release pack. This is such a good box. I love this box. I got word Dragapult V is $8. So, I mean, you take the low end of boss's orders. That was a $20 pack right there that I just opened. Incredible for a single pack. Incredible. Nothing too much in here, probably. Helioptile, Spirit Tomb. And Training Court. I want to check out the Spirit Tomb. It is a rare 60 darkness. Spitting Spite, discard the top energy of each player's deck. Dripping Grudge, put one damage counter on an opponent's active Pokemon for each Pokemon in their discard pile. Yeah, that, that's why I'm so excited about that pack. Two major staple cards, highly playable. I was very, very happy with that one. Incredible. Thank you guys for, on YouTube and Twitch, checking out the video and sharing the joy of opening the best pack ever. Not even exaggerating. I, I, don't, know, I don't know if you can open a better pack. Like, what pack could you open that's better? Boss's, boss's Orders Full Art, actually. That would be... Just a Boss's Orders Full Art's already $50. At the time of recording, which is before Rebel Clash came out. Green code. Galarian, Mr. Rhyme. Screen cleaner, prevent all attacks, uh, prevent all effects, excuse me, of opponent's attacks except damage. Uh, done to all Pokemon that have energy attached. It's a stage one, 110 health. Triple spin does 50 plus. Flip three coins, does 50 for each heads. Oh, yes! And my first scoop up net. This is a great card. Aircross Electrode. Yo, I forgot. We haven't got a scoop up net yet. This is a huge staple. Um, and it's an uncommon. We have less scoop up nets than boss's orders. Put one of your Pokemon that isn't a V or GX into your hand. Discard all attached cards. After a skateboard rotates out, a skateboard is from a really early set. Um, but it's going to get rotated out. This might be how we play Jirachi's, because Jirachi is not escaping out. Jirachi from Team Up, of course, with the Stellar Wish ability. Scoop up net might be how we work with Drachis, unless the skateboard gets reprinted. Scoop up your Drachi, 
Move another one to the active, put that Drachi back down, just pulling out trainer card after trainer card. And it works on things that aren't Vs or GXs, so uh, the Giratina from Unified Minds, it discards a special energy when it hits the bench. That'll be uh, a card, potentially, to if these speed energies and horror energies and twin energies I'm so excited about. Full heal. If those see a lot of play, then we might see Giratina from Unified Minds hit the field. This box is so good. Let's go. All right. Two packs left. What's, which one's going to be the better pack? This one that's sealed or this one with the white code? If you were a betting person, I'd probably bet on the one I'm currently holding as we have. Coming up here, a Natu and Chandelure. Effective Glow. And a Horror Energy. Let's go. Psychic Energy went along with that Horror Energy, of course. Going to go very nicely with that Dragapult. All right. Last pack, boys. RNG's Jesus Guide Me is an Inteleon Art White Code or Green Code? Green Code. Dreepy. It's going to be the first card. Bunnelby and Greedent. Oh, another Scoop Up Net! Oh, let's go! Nice! Two Scoop Up Nets, two Bosses Orders. This was objectively a better box than the previous one we opened. Green to Greedy Tail. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for a Pokemon tool card. Reveal it, reveal it put it into your hand. Really just uh, only a playable card, if anything. If you ever see it, see play for that ability. Absolutely beautiful box. We got two bosses orders. Tool Scrapper, two Scoop Up Nets, Dragapult V, Nine Tails V, Double V Full Art. Absolutely incredible box here. And I'm going to get these sleeved up and we'll move on to the next box. We are back with box number three out of this case. 36 more packs. Let's go. Let's go. That second box might be the best box I've ever seen in my life. Like, that might be the best booster box I have ever opened. And I'm glad I did it on camera because I feel like you guys, no one would believe me if I said that that box was as good as it was. That was a fantastic box. First code card is a white. What do we got? The fairy to start things off. Arcanine. Flapple from the Build and Battle Boxes. You can get a Flapple promo. Olena was the last card there. Keep things as organized as I can before we continue. 36 packs. We are still looking for a couple things. Bosses orders. Can always use more of those. Eldegoss, actually. We have none of those yet. Let's see if we can find one. Green code. And we're going to speed through these now. Ooh, Seismitoad. I'm going to, I said I, we're going to speed through these, and then I found a Seismitoad that I don't know what it does. 170 stage 2 split spiral punch 30. One water. Your opponent's active Pokemon is confused. Resonance. One water. Three colorless. 120. Your opponent's Pokemon, active Pokemon is confused. Um, if they are confused, it does 120 more damage for a total of 240. Three retreat cost. Bear Skuda. Once again, one of my favorite Sword and Shield Pokemon in VGC. Um, very niche, very glass cannony, a Pokemon that I like a lot. In the first two boxes we opened, we got a hit in the first two packs. And it looks like that is not going to be the case this time. Time pull. Greedent with Greedy Tail. And that was a green code. Fire Milo Luxio. Milo, discard two cards from your hand, draw up to two cards. In a format with Magnolia and Marnie, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know if we'll see him. I don't know if we'll see him played. Green code card. This box is not the heat. Box number two is still winning. Sigilif. Milo, Turfield Stadium. Turfield Stadium is going to be a nice grass staple, so I will, I will keep that out. That is an okay card. And I think a card that isn't too hard to get a play set of. White code card. What do we got in this one? Zatu and Stonjourner. Not V. Uh, four retreat cost, so you can buff padding it up to 190. Power press, 120 plus for one fighting, three colorless. If this Pokemon has at least one extra energy attached, uh, this attack does 16 more damage for 180. Ah, I don't like that at all, to be honest. And a Dracolok in that one. 
not too excited about that one. Oh yeah, that's a good that's a good point. That uh, Seismitoad is a water. Another white code. Is this going to be the first hit? Nugget. Ooh, and double V. That is our third double and our second normal art double. Oh, lightning energy. Almost missed that. Speed lightning energy. I think I have more speed lightning energy than any of the other kinds. We're low on capture energy. I don't, I don't think I need too many of those. Uh, you might see that played in Orangaroo. Ultra Prism decks. A Darkness. Karkul, beware. Skyla reprint. Got a lot of Skylas, unfortunately. Skyla might not see a lot of play because we have such powerful draw cards still. Don't forget, like, Coach Trainer is even still in format. You saw that played in Guardian. Rest in peace. My favorite deck. Zacian just everywhere. Magmortar Training court. Man, no, this box is not hot. This is not a hot box. Let's see what else we got. Can we get another V? Dreepy. It's going to be Malamar V Max. Let's go. Max Jammer. 182 Darkness, 1 Colorless. Your opponent reveals their hand. Choose a card you find there and put it at the bottom of their deck, which means they can't draw into it for 310 health. A Darkness Pokemon, a 2 Retreat Cost. Weakness to Grass. Uh, that's because Bug is bundled in with Grass, and Dark is actually weak to Bug. No Malamar V. That's an okay card. I'm happy that we got that. I don't have a Malamar V, though. And I don't know if I'll be playing Darkness this upcoming set. But Malamar is one of my favorite Pokemon. You're flipping my DS upside down. You guys know. You guys know how it was. I'm going to miss Baby Malamar and Baby Giratina. Tool Scrapper Reverse Hollow. Capacious Bucket Horror Energy. Yo, this is a nice pack. I like it. I like it. Oh, stop sliding around, boys. Stay stable. Stay steady. All right. Uh, I am very excited about the Horror Energy and Tool Scrapper Reverse Hollow. Tool Scrapper, one of the staples of this set. Got another white code. What do we got for this white? Time pull. Milotic V Full Art. This is a good card. Uh, 210 health. One water, two colorless, which is important. Uh, Aqua Impact does 10 plus. This stack does 50 more damage for each colorless and your opponent's active retreat cost. Pair with Galar Mine, which increases retreat cost by, by I believe, two. Uh, pair with Absol, which only affects basics. And you're going to be hurting some people. Hydro Splash, uh, sorry, Hypno Splash 150 for one water, three colorless. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. Weakness to Lightning is unfortunate because Pikaram and Boltund will be coming after you. But um, there's a couple different ways you could play that card. I think a Welder might be. I mean, Welder's just such a good card. Welder, Milotic. Uh, you know, people have been talking about it, but I definitely think that is more viable than ADP Milotic. Because if you're playing ADP Milotic, then why don't you just play, like, just just, just play ADP Zacian, bro? Don't be weak to Pikaram. Oh, that was a white code, but nothing quite in it, except that nugget. Um, we got Shuckle versus Hollow. Clefable Prankish, when you play this Pokemon from your hand, will evolve one Pokemon during your turn. You put an energy attached to your Pokemon is active, and put it on the top of their deck. And that's a holographic right there. Not too bad. Not as good as the first or second box, in my opinion. Definitely not as good as the second box. We're like an okay. Shajarabug. Diggersby. In that one. Karkle Hatterim Pokeball are going to be the last ones from that set. Alright, let's crack another one here. We're almost done with the left side. We're not even halfway done with this booster box. Or sorry, with his booster case. Well, both apply. Yo, Flapple from the Build and Battle Boxes and Toxicity V Max Rainbow. Very playable card. We have three Toxicities, uh, Toxicity V Maxes now. Sonia Pelipper. That is our first Rainbow Toxicity V Max, though, and the first Rainbow out of this box. 
Like I was saying earlier, the guard order that comes out of the build and battle boxes that can poison with its ability might be doing some work alongside its good friend Toxicity VMAX. White coat card. Nine Tails V. Capacious Bucket Turfield Stadium. That was a good pack. That was a good pack I just opened. I like it. Nuggets are not all that useful. I, in my opinion, because there's so many ways you can draw a nugget. If you use a draw supporter, for example, um, that aren't off your top deck. It only works off the top deck. Uh, so if you don't, if you don't top deck it, you know, there's ways to manipulate the top deck with like Macargo that lets you pick a, a card to put on top of your deck. There's a Rangaroo from the Sword and Shield base set. If you have the nugget in your hand, you just put it back and then take it back out. It's wind energy. But there's not a lot of ways to do it, unfortunately. Um, reliably, without really trying to set it up. And uh, I don't know. I don't know about nugget. I'd rather use like Acro Bike or Pokey Nav. As of right now, I don't see myself playing that card in any particular deck. Not a Grass Obama Snow. Burning Scarf. Arcanine will like that. Alright, that's the first half of this box. I'm going to clean up the table a bit, and then we'll get started on the second half. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, let us get on with it. This is the third booster box right side. 36 packs, we've got half of them to go. And the pulls that we've gotten so far are displayed on the left here. Stuffle, Probopass. Cool Scrapper, let's go. Can we get a price check on tool scrappers, anyone? I'm interested to see. Um, they're not too hard to pull, but they're going to be a staple. They're going to be useful. I'm going to guess at least a dollar. That'll be my guess on that price check. Of course, this is before the set comes out. White code card. What do we got here? Pelipper. Appleton. Delicious aroma. Uh, this is another gusting method that I forgot about. Once during your turn, you may flip a coin of heads, switch one of your opponents benched. With their active. I think most people will opt to just play boss's orders though. And there's a capture energy I was talking about earlier. That we haven't been finding too many of. Capture energy. Going to add a little bit of consistency boost to decks that are just straight up colorless like Orangaroo decks. Alright, let's check it out. Magikarp. Inteleon V. Our first Inteleon V coming out. And a Galar Mine, which I'm going to set next to that Milotic. Galar Mine, retreat cost of both active Pokemon, is two colorless more. Really, this is really the anti-air balloon set right here. And this Inteleon does Snipe Shot, one water. This tact is 40 to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Aqua Report, your opponent reveals their hand for 130. Two water, one colorless. I think Inteleon VMAX, which you can actually see on that pack right there. I don't know if that's Inteleon VMAX or Inteleon V there. But Inteleon, I think, might be the most playable of the Galar starters coming out of this set. Glaring Meowth, Tool Scrapper. We have a price check on Tool Scrapper. Uh, oh, they're a quarter. Okay. I'm actually getting a lot of them, so that doesn't surprise me. And they are an uncommon instead of a Rare. Al Creamy. That's an adorable Pokemon. Another capture energy. Ask and I'm pulling. Shut up. And uh this Al Creamy decorate any number of basic energy cards from your hand. Uh attach any number of basic energy cards from your hand to your Pokemon enemy you like. Oh, that's kinda interesting. Draining Kiss for fifty, heal thirty damage for this Pokemon for a psychic and a colorless. Al Creamy is psychic. It's important to know. I'm gonna keep that one out. I kinda like that Al Creamy. Um, a creamy is psychic, so it can be mysterious treasure. Lucky March on this chat out. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may flip a coin. If heads, put a supporter. From your discard, in your hand, it's a basic. Kind of like an Eldegoss V, except it's a coin flip. That old creamy is, uh, kind of attach any number of basic energy from your Pokemon in any way you like from your hand. That's kind of interesting. 
Don't know if that'll see any play. Dan! Reverse Hollow. Another Galar Mine. I'll set next to that Milotic. We're almost halfway done with this booster case. Got a fun fact. Sonia Full Art is 1994. Rainbow is 1920. We haven't seen a Sonia Full Art yet. Very Mr. Mime. Hatterene. Lightning Cursed Shovel. Yo, it happened again, did it? No. What, what energy am I missing? Fighting. I'm missing a fighting energy. Check this out. One of each energy. I, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, it's a conspiracy. It's so unlikely to happen. It has to be some kind of manufacturing reason that this happens. This next one, it's going to have a fighting energy. Check this out. All right. Let's check it out. I'm so confident it's going to be a fighting energy. Look at that. Right there. Fighting energy. Got all eight. Let's go. What was the what was the cool card in this one? I don't even remember. Oh, Duraludon. I think these are in the theme decks. Metal Sharpener for 30. One colorless. Attach a steel energy from your discard to one of your Pokemon. Power Beam. Two steel. One colorless for 110. Not a great card, but it's in the theme decks. It's not a hard card to navigate for children. Look at this. Absolutely busted. I'm going to keep doing this. This has happened multiple times. This has happened out of ETBs. ETBs come with eight packs, and I've done this with two different ETBs. And now you're seeing it here. Insanity. All right. What do we got in this green pack? Metapod, Diggers B. And it, whoa, another fire. Is this next one going to be a psychic energy? Can I see the future? Am I psychic? Yo, what is happening? What, what, what if it's the same, dude? What if it's the same? There are 16... Can I do math? Well, no. There's not 16 packs aside. Scyther. To start this pack off. Colossal from the... Uh, nope, fighting. Rip. We'll see if it matches again anyway. We'll see We'll see what energy we get. Now, at this point, I'm just... If it's not a boss's orders full art and Eldegas I'm more excited about... Milsery. I'm more excited about the code uh, or the Dragapult V. Let's go. Uh, duplicate fire. Just kidding. I also care about Dragapult V. No Dragapult V maxes yet, though. But obviously, if you're going to play Dragapult V, you will need multiple copies of Dragapult. Got another white code card. And what do we got here? Psychic. Scoop up net. Let's go. I think I have completed a playset, or I see there, obviously there's two on the left here. Um, I may have completed a, no, no, I think I need one more. I need scoop up nets. Everyone needs scoop up nets. That is a staple card of this set. Zashian from the theme deck. Energy stream for 30, one steel, one colorless. Attach a steel energy from your discard to this Pokemon. Smashing edge, 120, flip a coin. If tails, discard two energy. From this Pokemon. And a steel energy to deal with it. And a scoop up net! Play set! Let's go! I absolutely love these scoop up nets. Uh, they are going to be possibly uh, how we are going to use Jirachi in the future. Galarian Duramitan. And that one, horror energy. Nice. Definitely got enough horror energy at this point to. Play my Dragapult deck. Should I decide to include that? I haven't looked really into how to build that quite Yeah, Burning Scarf. Darkness. Alright. We got three packs left. Which is going to be the best of these three? We got the Reliboom art, the Toxicity art, the Inteleon art. And then we will officially be through the first half of this booster case. The trash to my right is looking absolutely insane. Phantom and Dragapult Baby. Nice. Kind of a playable card. And a nugget to end that one. Alright. So far that one's winning. Dragapult V, kind of like the Whimsicott from, I believe it is Unbroken Bonds. Might see a little play, maybe. Might be a rogue deck. Lightning Energy. Any Zatu. Alright, let's check it out. 
Last pack, RN Jesus, watch over me. Green code. Scoop up net. Speed lightning, come on, give it to me. Whisk cash, fighting. Twin energy and a dam. All right, not a bad box, not a bad box. I don't know how I'd rate this one. The second box is definitely the best. Uh, this, I don't know if this box or the th or, um, first box is, was the better one, but I am very happy about this Dragon Ball V and completing at least a playset of scoop up nets. All right, we're gonna clean this up. We're gonna get into the fourth box. All right, after that short break where I ate because doing this for some reason makes me really hungry. Booster box number four. 36 packs. We still have not got an Eldegoss V, which I am very interested in. But here we go. We're going to start with the left side, as always, with the Toxtricity V on the pack art. What is the pack art set? Is it the starters and Toxtricity? Yeah, that's it. The starters and Toxtricity. All right, let's do it. We're still looking for Eldegoss V and Boss's Orders Full Art. This is box number four in uh, my case opening that I'm getting no help on. Because we are quarantined. Is this going to be a first pack hit? Let's go. Blinks and Copper Raja V Max first pack hit. Nice. Let's go. Love it. Very excited about that. As Copper Raja V Max, we pulled one earlier. Uh. Did we pull a VMAX earlier? Well, I'm just going to go over it again while I crack some more packs open. Dangerous Nose does 100. And 100 plus if it's a basic Pokemon. And then GMAX Hammer, 240. For four energy, one of which is colorless. The rest are steel, obviously. And four retreat cost. Metal Frying Pan, Buff Padding, your choice. Buff Padding might be kind of sick. If... Fire wasn't such a threat. But then again, if you're taking multiple hits, eventually Metal Frying Pan is the better choice. What do we got on this white card? A Snover with a Clefable. And a Pokeball. I'm surprisingly not getting too many Pokeballs. That's an uncommon trainer card. And I don't have too many of those in my hand. Um, I think we might have a playset by now. I'm not too sure. But we had a couple boxes. We had one other box start us off. Holding your arms up like this might be why I'm getting so hungry. This is a legit effort. And earlier I was squatting too. Like I was stand squatting so I could not bump the camera but also show the cards. Remember we're live. Twitch.tv slash Give it a follow. Subscribe. All that fun stuff. Engage. Touch your Z. V. And a capacious bucket. And a turf field stadium. This is actually a sick, sick pack. Touch your city V. Poison jab for 20. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. Electric Riot, 90 plus. If your opponent's active Pokemon is poisoned, it does 90 more damage. And then, of course, it evolves into the VMAX, which we've pulled a couple of. We got ourselves a Toxicity V. And there's also another Toxicity V that comes in a box that you can buy at your friendly local game store, but not right now. Volibee. I think that was a Mr. Rhyme top entry Lexio and a Dracoloke. I want to check out that Mr. Rhyme. Mr. Rhyme's sc uh, screen cleaner. If there's an energy attached to your Pokemon, prevent all effects of opponent's attacks except damage. Got one of those earlier. That's an interesting water card so far. Couple of good hits. Got a Capacious Bucket is so common. Yo, hold on. We, we got we to gotta take a look at these energies, dude. These energies are they're rigged. Oh, <gasps> full art, Sonia. Let's go. That's a beautiful card. That is about a $20 hit right there. Search your deck for two basics. Uh, two basic Pokemon or two basic energy. Reveal them. Put them in your hand and shuffle your deck. That is gorgeous. A water energy to go along with it. And uh, that full art, Sonia. The best card that we've pulled out of this box. This young box so far. Let's take a look at the back of that card. Take a look at it myself. It's pretty good centering there. Um, actually, it looks a little bit like the top is shorter than the bottom, but I'm going to sleeve that immediately as this is a very expensive card. Yo, check the energy out. What are we missing? Quick, be smart. What are we missing? Fairy. Uh, darkness. Darkness. This pack is a darkness energy. Let's check it out. 
Um, it's a green code, so I'm just mostly excited about the capacious bucket and the darkness energy. Let's go, dude. I'm telling you, they're rigged. I'm, I'm so. I'm. They're either rigged or I'm literally psychic. That is my playset of energy completed. All right, let's get this next set of energy complete. I wonder if they do. Like, do they do that on purpose? Is that a manufacturing thing? I'm not sure why that occurs. But multiple times through the Sword and Shield sets, I've gotten one of each energy. Got ourselves a Grass energy to start this set off, and a Twin energy. Nice. Uh, got our Chat out Reverse Hollow. I saw something else cool that I wanted to go over here. Oh, Aegis Slash is our rare from this pack. Three Retreat cost, 140 Health, Steel type. Big Shield, all of your Pokemon take 30 less damage from your opponent's attacks. You can't apply more than one Big Shield at a time. But you can pair this with... Uh, other things like uh, some grass Pokemon do uh, reduce damage, and of course, frying pans and all that. So that's kind of cool. Power Edge is 130. It's mostly a support Pokemon. But is this a stage two? Stage two's a little bit harder to get out and keep consistent. And putting a two of in your deck, you want for consistency um, if you're going to run that card. But also, uh, you can only put one down at a time. I mean, if one gets knocked out, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see if anyone plays that as we hit another white code card here. Pokeball and a Luxray from the pre-release deck. Capture energy. All right. Let's crack open another pack here in my hand. All right. Another white as what do we got here? Alexio and Dragapult V Full Art. Beautiful. Can someone give me a price check on that in the chat? I love the full arts. The contrast between the color of the Pokemon with the background still being complimentary. It's absolutely gorgeous. I think that is not going to cost as much as Sonya. Got a Galar Mine. But it is still going to be a costly card as Dragapult V is going to be an archetype. In and of itself, the first primarily psychic V archetype. Oh, but Nikki Mewtwo exists. That's a GX. That's a GX, little Timmy. All right. Come on. You don't need to correct everyone. Technically. Don't, don't worry about it, little Timmy. Lightning energy. Curse shovel. All right. Let's see what we got here. But Nikki and Didi. No one's playing in Didi V and Wobbuffet V. All right. It's the first V psychic archetype. All right. That's what I said. Calm down, little Timmy. Calm down. Litwick, Rolly Coley, Bear Scuta. Full heal and a normal Sonya on that one. Someone, uh, someone in chat will eventually. If someone get a Dragapult V full art price check for me, that would be dope. We are streaming live on twitch.tv slash shampoo as well as this is going up on the YouTube. A Milo is going to be that one. Now, Creamy, not hollow. Oh, my energies. Failure. Duplicate fighting energy. There's a Skyla reprint in there as well. I wonder if the Skylas, the old Skylas, went up. Another green code. Galarian Berserker. Galarian Darumaka. Cramorant. Almost done with the left side. So far, this has been a great start. It's been a great start. Crop Roger V Max, Sonya, Dragapult V. That is the stuff. White coat. And we got three packs left in that pile. Dragapult Grimmsnarl with a Psychic. Okay, I need a water energy. I need it. A full art. Dragapult V, $15. A little bit less than Sonya. But still, really getting our value out of this. Already got $35 between those two cards right there. Not to mention our good pal, Cop Roger VMAX. Ooh, what was that? Mandibuzz Rare. I actually don't know anything about this card. Bone Rush. Flip a coin to you at Tails. Does 30 for each heads for one darkness. Blindside. This attack does 100 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon that has any damage counters on it. Blindside for two darkness. Stage one. Two retreat cost. Weak to lightning. Interesting, interesting. That is going to be a neat card. Don't know if it'll see any use, but that is an interesting card. I have not actually even looked at looked at that. So we got another green coat. Speeding through these, Galarian Dramatan. 
Pokeball. Yeah, speed, lightning, energy. The Picorom Boltund. New uh, staple, special energy. White code card on this one. What do we got? Perhaps a pull from the last pack. In the pile, Colossal Corkle. Capacious Bucket. Ooh, there's a pull. Horror Energy. All right. Let's organize this up, and then we will get started on the second half. You stick my energy somewhere. All right. Getting started on the second half. Box number four, right side of a six box case. Cases are only six boxes. There's no such thing as a five box case, as far as I know, for this set. The set only comes in six box cases. Scoop up net, a main stay in this deck. Very nice. White coat. What do we got? As we hit the wing goal, we hit the pro pass and the <gasps> rainbow Olena coming out here. Two full art trainers coming out of this set. And another scoop up net, which I'm actually a little more excited about than the rainbow Olena. Beautiful card. I actually do. I like how the rainbows look in this set. But I still prefer full art trainer supporter cards. Let's take a look at the back of the card here. Hmm. Looks, uh, looks a little off-center. The right looking a little shorter than the left, in my opinion. But that is going to be a very nice pull. As, uh, we're probably not going to play that card. That card might not even see any play. That is a, that is a collector's card, if I've ever seen one. All right. Coming in here with yet another green coat. Well, I've been keeping track of my energies. So I hope you guys at home have been. As we get another horror energy. Um, I'm not even sure how many packs I opened from this set, but so far the energies look kind of different. Alright, next up. What do we have in this pack? It is a green coat. Galarian. Corsola is going to be the first. Zamazenta from the theme deck is going to be the rare in that pack. If you guys uh, are picking up the theme decks from this set, you're looking at Zacian and Zamazenta, not the Vs. The Vs are coming in at 10, though, which I'm going to buy a couple of uh, for myself. Galarian Runerigus. Uh, I actually don't know too much about this card either. For two colorless, spreading spite for each damage counter. On this Pokemon, put two damage counters on your opponent in any way you like. And it's only got 100 health. Mad Hammer, 120. Does 30 damage to itself. That's probably why I haven't heard of this card, because it doesn't sound very good, if I'm being quite honest. All right. I don't know. Uh, it's, a, it's a fighting type, so you can... You got Karate Belt, Martial Arts Dojo, and fun stuff like that. But I don't know, man. 100 health isn't much to work with, as we coming out here with another white coat. Let's see what we got here. In the reverse hall, a low tad and Vikavolt. Gonna be the cool card of that pack, but it wasn't a scoop up net though, which I need some of. White code card here. Alright. What do we got? Can we get ourselves a full art boss's orders? Another nine tails V. Normal art, twin energy, and Dan! Let's go. That's for you rock, paper, scissors fans out there. You're going to want to be playing that card. Otherwise, just play like literally any other card. Erica's Hospitality, even. If you want to draw cards. Unless you want your opponent to draw cards. That's one way to do it. <gasps> Zatu. Nice. Cinderace V Max. Check this one out. Counter does 30 plus. For a fire and colorless, if this Pokemon is damaged by an attack during your opponent's last turn, this attack does that much more damage. 
That's cool. And then Max Pyro Ball, 170. Your opponent's active is now burned. 320 health, a 2 retreat cost. Weakness to water and no resistance. That is our first Cinderace V Max Tool Scrapper. Another Dan coming out of that pack. Not a bad pack. This is a, this is a real fire box here. I'm not saying as in it's got great pulls. It's got okay pulls, I think. Um, might be above okay. Got the full art trainers, but fire as in we just pulled two fire Vs and a lightning energy. Does anyone want any bulk energy? Let me know. Hit me up on Twitter at Stealth Shampoo or on a Discord. Oh no, that's the first pack that I actually missed throwing into the trash can. It's a big trash can I got going right there. Inteleon V. In fighting energy, top. Deck Luxio. Yo, pre-releases might have been so much fun for this. Man, getting the extra Luxios, getting the extra Roly Colies. White code card. I might play some with some of my friends, but let's go. As far as I used to go to tons. Galarian Weezing. Wow, we haven't seen this card. This is actually kind of cool. 130. Stage one. Neutralizing gas. Uh your opponent's Pokemon to play have no abilities except neutralizing gas. This is as far as I know, Silent Lab isn't. I, unless I've, you know, really missed something, Silent Lab is not legal. But uh, this is the only way to shut down non-GX abilities. Uh, you can't shut down Zacian V. Shadowbox Mimikyu doesn't work. This is the way to do it. Severe Poison, your opponent's active Pokemon is poisoned for one darkness, but four damage counters. Instead of one during Pokemon checkup for three. Retreat cost and a fighting weakness. That is an interesting card. And the first one, I've, I don't think I've seen one of these yet. I'm going to pull this kid out. I'm going to pull this kid out. I like him. It has to be active, though. That's a thing. I'm trying to stop people from intrepid sorting. It's a three retreat cost. It's an interesting card. It's an interesting card. If, only because it's the only way to shut down abilities that aren't GX tag teams in a standard. I am a standard player, for those of you who don't know. I don't know anything about any other game. Uh, any other format. I mean, I know a lot about theme, obviously. Theme's not too hard to get your head around. A hey, Grass Trevenant. All right, boys. Five packs completes the fourth booster box. Let's see what we got. Can we get one more hit? Probably not in this one, but maybe I can get a scoop up net with that green code that came out of this one here. Ooh, we do have a hit in that speed energy. I have plenty of speed energy now. I feel like capture horror and double uh, twin energy, excuse me, are... I feel like I got a lot of uh, speed lightning. And I know you can get speed lightning out of the build battle kits you see at the top of your screen there. Butterfree. Beware, Skyla. Alright, look. Look. Alright. Um, I'm cool with the Skylas. Like, I like Skyla. I like her design. She's an okay card. Maybe she was better back in her day. But let's, let's see some of those Skylas become Giovannis, alright? Alright, RNG. Alright, we're down. Last two packs. Which is going to be the better pack? Toxicity or Inteleon? Make your guess at home. Or put it in the comments section to increase my engagement. On YouTube. White coat. You might be right if you bet on this pack here. As we got ourselves a full heal and a Duraludon, which you can find in the theme decks. Alright, maybe this is this Inteleon pack art will be the correct one. If you were wrong then you shouldn't feel bad about yourself because you had no way to really make an educated guess. White code, beware. And double V. Got a couple of these. I think I might be nearing a play set of double V. And that is going to conclude this box. Best cards, uh, obviously going to be that Dragapult V full art and these two supporters full art. Pretty happy with this box. This is a good box. This is a good box. All right, guys, we're going to get this cleaned up. We're going to move to box number five. All right, for those of you watching on YouTube, let me know if you made it this far, seriously, um, because this is box number five. We've been here for a minute. Box number five. So far, we got Full Art Sonya, Full Art Olena, and we don't have Full Art Milo yet, and we don't have, obviously, the big boy Full Art Bosses Ors, but this is Rebel Clash Box number five. Let's do it. As always, starting from the left side, going down. Bam. And 
Bam. After this, we got one box left, and I'll do the build and battle kits probably some other time. Let's do it. 36 packs, 36 chances to get a full art boss's orders, but maybe not in this first pack, as it was a green helium tile. Water energy. Snorlax. Metacham, beware. Speed energy to start things off. That's, you know, we didn't start off fast and hot. We didn't turn one full blitz, but we got a speed energy out of the first pack. And if I can attach that to a bolt hunt, then we're looking good. We're looking tasty. But this is just a normal pack with a Skyla in it. Let's crack another one open here as uh, we got... The fifth booster box, and all green codes so far. Some of the other boxes had pulls in their first one or two packs. Will we get the legendary one of each energy card? Can I do it yet again? I've done it multiple times in Sword and Shield sets. Four greens in a row. That hurts. Heliolisk, Scizor, Lightning, Hatterim, Karkoal to end that stack of bulk. Full art bosses orders. It has to be somewhere in these remaining couple packs. As we get our first white code, will this be the full art bosses orders? It is going to be Sandaconda V. I don't think I have a Sandaconda V of that art quite yet. And that is just a normal V and not a V Max. For two fighting, one colorless, 220, discard two energy from this Pokemon. Sand Eater, one fighting, 30 damage. Attach a fighting energy from your discard to this Pokemon. 220 health, 30 retreat. Grass Weakness, No Resistance, White Code. Nugget, Clefable. Yo, it might happen though. It might happen. Got a Sonya there in the back. Uh, what are we missing here? Think, think fast. Psychic and Steel. Probably the two most common archetypes. Aside from Fire, which I just pulled out. White Code card. Let's go. Rillaboom VMAX, Psychic, this last one is gonna be Steel, it's gonna be Steel. Rillaboom VMAX, 330 health, Scratch, one call is for 50, not too useful. Max beating, 130 plus, 3 grass, 1 color this, you may discard up to 3 grass energy from this Pokemon, if you do, does 50 damage for each card discarded this way. That is a total of 150 plus 130, is 270 enough to knock out all of the Tag Team GXs, except, of course, ADP and... Um, nag does. Three retreat, one fire. Major hit right there. And a scoop up net. But more importantly, steel energy. Steel energy in Talion. And then I've completed. Got the, got the th three best energy at the end. Fire, psychic, and steel. The most common energy typings right now in standard format. Hatterene, Revenant, and God's watch over me. Yes, I've done it. And the scoop up net. But more importantly, I've done it. I've completed one of each energy. I've got my full play set of Rebel Clash energy cards, basic energy cards. Wow, I, I want to thank my mom, the Academy, you viewer for watching, who's going to subscribe because I just pulled off an amazing feat that no one's ever seen before. Wow, these energy, these are going to go to my grandchildren. All right, Trubbish. Rillaboom V. Nice. The full art version. Forest Feast, Woodhammer. This is the first full art Rillaboom V. These are going well together. I like it. I like it. And a horror energy to top that off. Not a bad box so far. Not a bad box. All right. Let's check it out here with a green code. Started off with a water energy. Can I do it again? Glaring Doramitan, a capacious bucket, Turfield Stadium. Water, steel, the ADP colors themselves. As we got ourselves. Another green coat with hopefully not a water or steel energy. Oh, rip. I think you can only, can it only happen once per box or one per side per box? Hmm. I found I figured it out though. The reason I've been opening packs all in this order is because it's 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 telling me something about how they how they sparse energy, how they mana weave energy through packs. Bosses orders! Let's go! Let's go! That is a holographic 
not a reverse holo, but a holographic boss's orders, making that boss's orders number three or four or five, somewhere around there. Um, the last box didn't have any boss's orders, so we are very happy to pull that, as it is a rare trainer, and my god, it is a rare, rare trainer, if you've ever seen one. Grass energy. That came out of a white coat. Yeah, it did. You know, when they say rare trainers, I, I wish they weren't this rare. I guess collectors enjoy Pokemon more than they do trainers and supporters. But uh, us competitive players, us, us people, we go out, play at our local LGS, Cups, Challenges, League. I'd like I'd like Boss Orders to be a little more common. I don't think that's too much to ask than one per booster box, if even. I think I, I don't think I've, I haven't even, one booster box, I got two. Um, but yeah, they're looking at a rate of less than one per booster box, boys. It's not looking too good. Shout out, Cramorant, Turfield Stadium. Got ourselves a nice set of Turfield Stadium, should I ever want to play a grass deck. Thank God weakness energy exists. Not bad so far, coming out of the left side of this booster box, as we are coming out with a green code here. And a nice fire energy. Two packs left, we got the Toxtricity. And the Inteleon. Leave a comment below and increase my engagement. Tell me how much... Uh, which pack do you think will be better? A Code. Bearskuta. Colossal from the pre-release boxes. And a Milo there at the end. Is Milo a... Milo's an uncommon. I haven't seen too many of that guy. I wonder if I have more Milos or Skylos. I do sometimes care about your guys' opinion when it comes to... Leave a comment below and tell me what deck you want to play. Um, but I do I do care about your opinion, but that's just to increase engagement. I'm going to be completely transparent. Milotic V. Normal art. And a Milo there at the end. All right, first half, clean it up, and let's get started on the next half. All right, guys, current pulls are on the board. So far, I'd say five major cards, especially that boss's orders. But we're going up on the second set of cards. 18 packs here on the right side of this booster box. Counter, uh, sorry, not counter energy, capture energy. I might say that might be the energy card that I've pulled the least of as far as the special energies go. Oh, we actually have one of each now. Nice, nice. As now we're going to be pulling up on the Alcremie, the Psychic, the Galar Mine. I'll put that next to the Milotic. What else can we get? Possibly a full art boss's orders. It really seems like boss's orders is limited to one per pack. And a beautiful green code card on the back of this. A steel cursed shovel. Will this be? An actual set, a playset of basic Sword and Shield Rebel Clash freshly pulled mint gem 10 energy. Alright, just like the left side, this is not starting off hot as we're just getting green codes left and right here. Got a Dracolok in there though for the potential Dragapult Whimsicott Imposter deck. Alright, next up, white. The first white, I believe, on this right side. Jinx. Gold Tool Scrapper. Nice. Can I get a price check on that? And a baby Tool Scrapper. Oh, I love it. That is beautiful. We're going to sleeve that up immediately as the first gold item pulled out of this box. A Gold Tool Scrapper. A very, very good staple card. Very beautiful staple card. We'll put the baby Tool Scrapper right next to it. They came out together. They came out in the same pack. I'm going to keep them together. Let's take a quick look also after this pack at the, at the cut on that. For those of you PSA graders and collectors, how that one looks. Oh, I might get another set of, of baby energies. I said capture energy was the rarest, so I just pulled two of them. Let's take a quick look. $20 coming in for the tool scrap. Remember, we're streaming live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash no shampoo. $20. Nice. It is a staple card. It is beautiful in gold. Um, very, looks, ah, it's not a PSA 10. The, if you guys look closely, the left side much fatter than the right side. 
Uh, and the top much fatter than the bottom, actually. This is not a very well-cut card, if I'm being completely honest. Take a look quick at the back here, for those of you at home. Um, yeah, it's looking like like some sides are fat on others. Not very well centered. Sorry if it's wobbling a bit. The fan is on right next to me, so I don't melt to death in this room. But while it's not a PSA 10, it is still a beautiful gold card. That I'm sure will find a nice home in a binder or a deck, as it is a strong staple. And the first gold tool scrapper I have found. Green code. Turfield Stadium, Reverse Hollow. Ooh, another one named Garbodor. So I'm going to take that Garbodor out. Another Galar mine for my good friend, my lot. I got a lot of Galar mines. Yo, can we do it? Which energy is missing? Think fast. Darkness. Did I get it before you? Let me know. You're going you're gonna to lie to me and said no, I got it first, Nikki. We're missing... What do you think? Is this going to be fighting, darkness, or other? No, seriously. Ser I, I seriously want to know this one. I'm going to say darkness. Oh, he's fighting. I suck. Alright, this next one is going to be darkness. Gods watch over me. Alright. Can we get a darkness? Can we get a boss's orders? White. What do we got here? Sandy Gas. Let's take a look at some of these other cards. And... Baby Dragapult. Fire. No! It was other! What a plot to it! Yo, I honestly, that's the first time I got that wrong. That's the first time I failed a playset on the fourth energy. No! Is this one darkness? Yo, what the hell? That's crazy! Excuse the expletive, but I am shocked right now. Karkul. Milotic V Full Art. Psychic energy. Yo, where's my darkness energy? This is not going to happen? Oh, man. That's the first time I failed on the 7 streak. You just got to get 8. You got 8 and I failed on the 7 streak. Man. That hurts. Toxtricity Baby. Do we already go over Toxtricity Baby? Poison Shout. Attack does 20. Damage each of your opponent's Pokemon for a Lightning. Eh, not a very good card in my opinion. Not really. Excited about that. Where's my darkness energy? Can I pull a darkness energy? A white coat. What do we got? Zashian from the theme deck. And we have a horror energy water. Yo, am I going to find a darkness energy in this one? Am I going to find it? I suck. I, I, I miss darkness and fighting guesses. I don't really suck. There's no... Oh, there it is. There's my darkness. <gasps> Boltund, yes! A staple electric... Excuse me, lightning. Ooh! And a speed lightning energy to go with it. Those two will go together just like my friends, the tool scrappers. Finally found my darkness energy, too. Um, Boltund, a staple lightning... Not electric. The, that's the video game player of in me coming out. I wonder why... Yo, seriously. Now this I'm actually curious about. If you're on YouTube... Leave a comment and tell me why they changed it to lightning instead of electric, like it is in the video game. I truly do not know. I was a small baby when the PTCGO, or sorry, not even, well, it's probably in like middle school when PTCGO came out. High school, somewhere around there. Still a young boy, collecting Pokemon cards. Three packs left, Cinderace, Rillaboom, Toxtricity. I've completely failed on my getting another playset of energy. I guess it's one playset of energy per box. White code card. Can we get another pull? Malamar. V. Fighting energy. Pelipper. Bronzong. Nugget to end that one off. RNGesus guide me last two packs. Alright. Let's go. A white coat. Let's go. Come on. Full art boss orders. Applin. Appleton. Okay. Okay. Pokeball as well. And last pack. If you guys could, um, for a moment, give me all your power. By the time you watch this, it's already, it's already been decided. Everything is predetermined. And that is going to be it. And a buzz. 
back a look. Sonya to end this set. All right, not bad. Let's go over what we got. Gold Tool Scrapper coming in. That's probably one of the most expensive cards we picked up here. A set of basic energy. I'm really hyped about that. Uh, we got ourselves another Capacious Bucket. At least one of each of each special energy. Pretty happy about that. More Scoop Up Nets. The Scoop Up Nets are really coming in. That's going to be a staple card that everyone's going to want. Oh, got actually another Horror Energy that got mixed in with my Basic Energy. Milotic V. Full Art. Another Garbodor from the pre-release boxes. Not a bad box. Got a Boltund as well. Malamar V. And uh, Sandaconda. The Real Boom Buddies. Not bad. All right, we're going to clean it up. We're going to get on the last box. Ladies and gentlemen, we've made it. I am now single-handedly the first person in the universe ever. No, no, you're not, Nikki. Shut up, little Timmy. To open an entire case of Rebel Clash before it comes out. This is the very last box. This is going to be one of my personal boxes. I will not trade a single card out of this box. Not even for a million billion dollars. This is it. The sixth box. No full art boss's orders yet. Will we get one? This is the final Rebel Clash, number six, booster box, 36 packs, starting on the left as always with the Inteleon. Can I get another play set of basic energy? Can I get a full art boss's orders? Will I find a single Eldegoss V? The journey starts with this Inteleon Rebel Clash pack. If anyone on YouTube has watched this far, oh, I got the little authentic Pokemon wrapper powder on my fingers. That's how you know I'm opening legit Pokemon cards, and this isn't CGI green for the first pack. And our first energy is going to be a Psychic with a Burning Scarf at the end of that pack. I'll keep my elbows on the table so you guys can see a little bit better what is going on. White. Will we get a pull? Out of this second pack, Stuffle and a Galarian Cursula with a full heal there at the very end. Not too much going on there. We have not gotten Eldegoss V yet, but I am hopeful that this last and final booster box will give me two white codes in a row, which it has. And a Toxel, <gasps> this is an Inteleon. I can see the water, I can see the pink. Inteleon V! Full art. I That is actually my favorite full art card. The contrast, the complementary colors. Absolutely gorgeous on that one. Let's check out the card condition itself. Looks like I got... I'm going to inspect it. No real factory marks. That centering is looking... Uh, first hand. First hand look pretty good. That is pretty good center. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not going to say pretty good, actually. But we're going to put that in a sleeve immediately. What sleeve? What ETB is that sleeve from? Let me... Oh. Almost went out of order. I got to go in order. Let me know. If you know. Because then you'll be a cool guy. And you'll have one cool guy point in my book. At 20 billion cool guy points. If you can get that many. By tomorrow is when it'll expire. You can get 20 billion cool guy points that I will give you a high five over zoom offer expires tomorrow so far we're doing good on my energy play set one pull so far magic carp galler mine reverse hollow green and I'm killing the energy game pokeball is going to be the last card in that set all right the cinderace pack in my hands, being pried open as my money, converting my money into Pokemon cards. That's $2.50, about, per pack. That's usually how much a pack costs, if you buy as many as I do at a time. Two fifty, dollars and now converted into Pokemon cards. That's This is really just one big magic show. This is me converting money into Pokemon cards. And actually, twice in a row, I just missed the trash can with those wrappers. That's the first, that's like the second time I missed. Uh, that's like the third time I missed right there. Yo, what, what energy are we missing? Think fast. Can you do it before me? Can you figure it out before we fire? You're cheating. 
You pause the video. Alright. Don't let me catch you cheating ever again. Give you a double prize penalty for that. Let's go! My play set of basic energy! I've done it so many times with Sword and Shield and now Rebel Clash. I did it twice in Sword and Shield. I didn't even get a booster box. I was just out of ETBs. My full play set of basic energy. Absolutely beautiful. Which, by the way, you can get fairy energy from ETBs. Just can't get them from booster boxes and loose packs. Nay! Oh, yes! Eldegoss V, a huge staple card. My first copy of it. Happy March 180. This is why we want this card. It's because of the ability. I am legitimately excited about this card because I really need it. Happy March. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may put a supporter card from your discard into your hand. That means a welder. That means you can pull a welder out of your discard. That means a boss's orders. That means a Marnie, a Volkner, a professor's research. This is your fifth professor's research. I really wanted that card. And that is a huge pull. Turfield Stadium, Karkul, Hatterim are going to end that stack. That is the first Eldegoss V that we have gotten. Can we get another? Unlikely, but uh, this is a huge staple card. It's not even for the attack. I don't even remember what the attack does. 180, it's a grass card. Let's check actually the backing quality of the card. Getting, this card's going to get played, so. Um, but I just want to take a quick look at the actual card itself. Um, yeah, the centering's not very good on that. I'm not like a PSA or a grade or anything, just kind of just eyeballing it. One retreat cost, float up. You may shuffle this Pokemon, all cards attached to it in your deck. Well, this is actually a good attack. This is not a bad attack. It's a quick ballable professor's research. Where you get a professor's research in your discard. You put, like, you're going to see this in every deck, not just grass decks. You're going to see this in absolutely every deck. It's a huge, powerful staple card. And uh, people are probably going to play like one or two of those. Especially because you don't need to play four boss's orders. You can play the Eldegoss V instead of playing your boss's orders at four. So you can also get back your researches, your Marnies, your Skylas, I guess. Um, your Volkners. Can someone give me a price check on Eldegoss V, please? In the Twitch chat. We are streaming live on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash shampoo. You can watch this. After the fact, on YouTube. Capacious Bucket, number two from the set. Inteleon might be kind of happy about that. Or, if anyone is happy about Capacious Bucket, it is my man, Frostmoth. Eldegoss V is going to be Dedenne-like as far as usage goes. I think. Very powerful. Curse Shovel, Malamar VMAX. I don't know if we got a Malamar VMAX yet. Two Darkness, one Colorless, Max Jammer, 180. Your opponent reveals... Their hand, choose a card you find there, put it at the bottom of their deck. And a Burning Scarf ends that. So I get a little organized here. My, my precious playset of energy. My PSA Gen 10 rare energy. Alright, there we go. Am I going to get two playsets of energy? That would be absolutely busted. That'd be literally better than a full art boss's orders. It's two playsets of energy. Absolutely nuts. I'm getting reports. Eldegoss just below $20. I wouldn't be surprised if that went up. Twin Energy. Reverse Hollow. And I'm on my way to a second place of energy. We just see Capture Energy. <gasps> Double Twin Energy in that pack! Yo! In the Reverse Hollow slot and in the last couple cards in the pack. Double Twin Energy. I'm just missing a Capture Energy. Very, very good. Uh, picking up that Eldegoss. And Malamar V, I don't know if that'll see play, but... It is a it is a card that I have now in my precious collection. White code card. Stonjur... Wow, double Stonjurner. That happened to me before with... Uh, I think it was Rhydon from the Sword and Shield set. Double Stonjurner. Um, power press 120 if this Pokemon has at least one energy attached to it. In addition to this, attacks cost at 60 more damage. That's very achievable with Karate Belt. Four retreat cost, buff padding, 190. Eh, can't put a Karate Belt and a buff padding all at the same time. That's that's okay. These guys came together though, so that's kind of cool. So I'll put them, I'll put them down. I'll put them down into the cool guy pile of things that I want to keep an eye on. Yo, we are missing fire, fighting energy. 
And then once again, I will have another completed set of energy. Will this be a firefighting, or will we have another plot twist where it is neither, and I break the combo? Let's see. It is a Stunky, Valerian Runarigus, and will we get a fire energy out of this next one? I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say yes. It'll happen. It'll happen. It's, it's a Toxicity pack. They've proven scientifically Toxicity packs are more likely to contain fire energies than any other pack. Not really, if any children are listening, don't repeat that to your friends. Double play set of basic energy, Milo. And the grass stadium. Double play set of basic energy out of this booster box. That You know what that means. That means there's a boss's orders in this box. Look at that. Double play set of energy. Absolutely nuts. Wow. I'm going to personally play these energy. When I go to Worlds. Just kidding, I can't get an invite. Because it's cancelled. <laughs> and also, I haven't been playing for that long. I only have 20 CP or something like that. Green Co-Card. This is the second to last pack in the row. Psychic Energy. I wonder if, if I swap to the right side. Last pack. That It'll break my energy combo. But I have to swap to the right side because the left side is gone. We got a white. And what do we got here? Double V full art. Got a couple of those. I think that's my second. Ooh, speed energy. Hell yeah. Double V full art. Very happy about that. All right. First pack, right side. We're almost done, boys. We're halfway done with the last box in this case opening that I have to do for myself because no one is allowed to come over. For some reason, there's a stack of bulk in my code cards. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. That there. All right, this was a green. Can I get something that's not a psychic? Can I continue? Or a steal? My rampage on completing full sets of basic energy? Yo, yo, this is sick. I'm actually gonna play the patent to guess the energy game. All right. Pack openers greater than I have played this game for centuries. Water is a fire. Scoop up net, Malamar V to go with my Malamar, yes. And the scoop up and a fire energy, I suck. I got it wrong. There's, I don't really suck. That wasn't based off of any skill at all. That's random guessing. I'm more likely to get it wrong than I am right at this point. That's how stats work. Grass. Please, a third play set of energy. Oh, I failed. That's a failure. That's a bust. Scoop up net. Let's go. Nice. All right. We got the double Malamars. We got the Eldegoss. We got the double V. Is Box telling me I need to play Malamar? Is that what's happening here? Aracuda? Stone Journer. Absolute bust. We've completely... Ooh, I almost got a play set of scoop-up nets out of those last couple of packs. I'm liking it. I need those. I need those. All right, green. What we got here? Zamazenta. What a water energy. And a horror energy. Nice. We don't have any capture energy. That's what I was saying before. Capture energy is rare. Got two of all the other ones except oh, capture energy. Not that I don't think needing a play set of capture energy is... That's not going to be urgent. That's not something that I'm rushing to get. Alright. Luxio is going to be the cool card of this pack, which was a bust. Let's, uh, what do we got in our energy so far? All right, next. Everyone's like, Nikki, I don't care about the energy. No one does. I mean, if you do, then cool. Come on, I'm trying to keep myself entertained. Honage. Twin energy. Almost a place at a twin. Yo, this box is really good for the special energy. I got just two boxes. I got all the speed energy I need to play. My Picarama Bolton, if I decide that is the archetype that I want to lean into. Mr. Rhyme Lightning Adan. All right. We got quite a few packs left. It's not over yet. White code. Let's go. Come on. Give me a give me a boss's orders. Give me a full art trainer. We don't we haven't gotten one yet. Gold maybe? Vika Volt. Ouch. That hurts my friend. Water. Ooh, did I get a play set? Fire, psych, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I did another play set of energy! 
Nice. These are these are the no one cares about those energy. Yo, I think I got two play sets of, of basic energy, guys. Get back to opening the packs, idiot. Alright, Jesus. I don't care about your stupid play sets of energy. It's inter it's legitimately interesting. Obviously the way these are manufactured somehow. Um, I guess that's how they keep it even. That's how they make it so that there's not too much of one energy out in the wild. Oh, Cinderace V Max. Beautiful. And a fire energy to go with it. And a tool scrapper, yay. That is the first tool scrapper in this box. Not too shabby. All right. What do we got? Another white. Full art trainer. It's got to be somewhere. It's got to be somewhere, boys. Don't let the Eldegoss be my only. Oh, yes. Dragapult V. Yes. A very powerful archetype. Dragapult V. Oh, my first capture energy out of this box. Dragapult V is not only the... Um, it's not exactly the uh, strong card. It's Dragapult V Max. But, of course, you need V to play V Max. So, uh, that's why getting the V is so exciting. Can someone give me a price? I think we've done a price check on that before, but can we remind the people? Someone remind me, mostly. And a Dracolook. And a Galar Mine. And that pack. Let's go. I got, I got my, dude, my energy is here. I got all my special energy. All right. Green. And we got ourselves a water energy tool scrapper. Tool scrapper, a good staple. Rest in peace. Air balloons and escape boards to stop people from playing Jirachi. Oh no, my cards are sliding around. Let's chill out, boys. Uh, the Eldegoss V, I think, might be the most valuable card. I don't know if it's the most expensive, but I think it, to me, is the most valuable. It can be played in so many different decks. Uh, this Eldegoss V, I think, is my favorite card that I pulled out of this box so far. Dragapult, close second. I wonder which one's more expensive. Someone, by all means, let me know. Dragapult V, between 7 and $9 as of right now. Uh, April 27th is when this unboxing happened. Thank you, chat. Litwick. Chandelure. What does this chandelure do? Another capture energy. Yo, my special energy is going in. I want to read what the chandelure does. Protective glow. All your Pokemon have energy attach have no weakness. Oh, that's interesting. It's a stage two, though. So it's a little hard to get around. And its energy has to be attached to them. Oh, we are down. I just caught it. All right. Which is going to have... The last pull, or maybe last two pulls. Well, all four of these have pulls. Toxicity. Rillaboom. Cinderace. Big Sobble. I'm going to open them in the order that they were stacked. Big Sobble is going to be... Thank you guys for doing the dirty work for me and doing price checks. I, I am unfortunately a one-man crew due to quarantine producing and all that and opening cards. And unfortunately, it's taken longer than I wanted to. If you voted for... Who's missing? And Teleon, you were wrong. And there's nothing wrong about being wrong. Yo, next energy. Fighting. Fighting energy. The Metatite gives it away. It's going to be a fighting. I guessed before I opened the pack. I swear. Oh, it was a lightning. I suck. All right, next one's going to be fighting. Two packs left. If you guessed... I think that was Cinderace. You are also incorrect. Boss's orders. Come on. I haven't got a full art boss's orders yet. I could use a normal boss's orders, honestly. White. Tranquil. Boltund, yes! And there's my fighting energy. That is my, what, third or fourth play set? What's up, Skyla? Of basic energy. The last pack. Um, we have not gotten a secret yet. Last pack, people. It's been a long journey. If you've been watching on YouTube, I thank you. If you've made it this far, if you've been watching on Twitch, thank you guys. This is the first full case that I've opened. And I even did it by myself. Um, so I appreciate you guys hanging out. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe. Or don't. I mean, you've already made it this far. Sunk cost fallacy. Just subscribe, man. Just subscribe at this point. And watch me open more cards. Hopefully you found this soothing, informative, analytical, helpful green code. No bosses orders in this one, but that is going to be it. Fire energy. That is it. I opened an entire case 
of Sword and Shield, Rebel Clash, no full art boss's orders, but we did get the one Eldegoss. And we got Dragapult. And uh, I got all my energy. I got all the energy I need. I got three scoop ups on this one. I'm gonna clean everything up and we will uh, we're gonna go through the binder of pulls. Alright guys, for those of you, these are my old stuff. Binder's not too organized, but we have the cards in order from when we open them. The I don't remember which box is first, second, third, but thank you guys for watching if you are on YouTube and you watched me open all six boxes by myself. We got our pulls here, highlights, Cop Raja V Max Rainbow. Uh, definitely fantastic. I really like how Santa Conda V looks. I'm going to hold the binder up as best I can. Copperage V Max, Santa Conda V right here. Uh, we got a lot of tool scrappers, a lot of speed energy as well. What else we got here? One Dragapult V. Someone help me keep track. Twin Energy Gold. Very, very nice gold card. We didn't get too many of those. Bosses orders. We got two bosses orders out of a case so far at least. Much more speed energy and such. Oh, let's see. That's two Dragapult Vs. Texture C V Max. My Lotic V Full Art. Beautiful. Got plenty of scoop up nets. I was afraid those are going to be hard to get. We got ourselves Full Art Sonya, Full Art Olena from the same box. Another Dragapult V that makes three Dragapult Vs. And this one's a Full Art with the fiery background. I like it. Three bosses orders, three Dragapults. Um, let's see what else we got here. My Lotic Gold Tool Scrapper. And we got ourselves, I think we got four, yes, we got four Dragapults out of six boxes. That's really nice. But I think we only got two or three boss orders and only one Eldegoss. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching I me mean, open this entire case. Stay tuned to Stell Shampoo, twitch.tv slash Stell Shampoo, youtube.com slash Stell Shampoo for more Pokemon content.